on my kicker tonight, I remember the morning former Nairobi governor Mike Sonko walked into my office right here at the Royal Media Services to share what he described to me as a damning expose about corruption in the judiciary. In a phone conversation that preceded our meeting, I asked Governor Sonko if he has evidence about the allegations he was about to make. He assured me that, as he put it, he had everything. And true to his words, Governor Sonko arrived armed with documents and audio recordings to back up his claims. He was also accompanied by persons he correctly introduced to me as parties to the case. The case Governor Sonko brought to our attention involved High Court Judge Said Juma Chitembwe. And I must admit that at the time, most of it read like mindless fiction. My pinch of salt grew to a truckload when Sonko played the recordings of what now turns out to be the true account of the conduct of Justice Said Chitembwe, as now confirmed by a tribunal that this week recommended his removal from the judiciary. On the day, my editorial cautiousness was at its best, and as rules of journalistic gut dictate, when never in doubt, do not publish. I still could not place the contents of the rec recordings against the fact that Justice Said Chitembwe had even made the shortlist for Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. I recall this performance at the JSC interview where Justice Chitembwe put up such a confidence display, his facial mus muscles staying put even as he answered questions about integrity. This week, Mike Sonko was indicated. He proved his case against Justice Chitembwe and the tribunal recommended the removal of the judge. Findings of the tribunal were shocking. Among the charges sustained, Justice Chitembwe acquired beneficial interest in a parcel of land that was subject to a case he was presiding at the High Court in Malindi. The tribunal further established that Justice Chitembwe conducted himself inappropriately in the impeachment case against then Governor Mike Sonko. Money change, changed hands in both cases, with the judge asking for his cut in dollars and dirhams. Then there's this little equally disturbing detail in the tribunal findings that another judge received 30 million shillings to step in to deliver judgment on behalf of Justice Chitembwe in a succession course involving the same parcel of land Justice Chitembwe had an interest in. The tribunal findings make for real disturbing reading. It paints the bench as a mafiosi gangland where justice is traded like a, like a commodity for top dollar and top dirhams. The tribunal report raises one simple question. What if Said Juma Chitembwe was just a tip of the iceberg? What if Chitembwe was just one among many? Who else is out there? Who is the 30 million shillings judge? And how big is the justice for cash network? Chitembwe may be dismissed now as a single rotten apple, but as a rural boy, I know exactly how long the stench of a passing skunk lingers in the air. And for that reason, the bench in the judiciary should be aware that the Chitembwe smell will hang over their collective robes for a while. To the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, and Chief Justice Martha Kome, shake that tree and tell us how many more like Chitembwe continue to fraudulently introduce themselves as justice. And to Mike Sonko, who the social media dismisses as a recording artist, Keep pressing that red button. I will doubt you less next time. That is my kicker.